So think about this. Americans spend more time shopping for a car than they do looking for a financial advisor. And that, that's according to a 2014 CNBC article. And you probably ask a thousand different questions before buying that car. Right, so when it comes to your financial future, shouldn't the same due diligence apply? Omaha's retirement strategist, Daryl Bryant, is here with three questions you should ask. And he's the president of D. Bryant Retirement Strategies and the host of the Retirement Strategies radio show on 1110 KFAB on Saturday mornings. Daryl, good morning. How was your weekend? Hey, good weekend? Great, 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 great weekend. <laughs> ran about you? Well, I ran into this guy at the gym. <laughs> you ran into this guy at the gym on Saturday. It was good seeing oh. you. I, 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 could not e I couldn't even make it through the door. He's so just so big. Ripped. Yeah. Like, yeah. Hey, can you Whoa. just turn sideways for a second? <laughs> yeah, they all side. He's real they all, from, no. you know, they well, part I would say side. we give him a hard time. He's like a tornado. He's nice and brought up here. And then you see his legs in the summertime at a table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Enough of this horseplay here. Uh, whether you're choosing a financial advisor for the first time, uh, or maybe you already have one. I, I mean, you say there's really three questions mm -hmm. that we need to, to pay attention to, right? I would think so. There are a lot of questions, you know, that, that we could go into. But the first one that we like to talk about is whether or not your advisor is held to a fiduciary standard, I would think would be uh, important. That's a very common question that we get when people call, hey, are you guys fiduciaries? Well, we'd love to hear that question because that, that's a smart thing to ask. Mm -hmm. A fiduciary is a person whose uh, responsibility it is to uh, determine what you're trying to do, and then show you what we believe is the most prudent way of doing that, the smartest way to get that uh, kind mm -hmm. of thing done. And mm -hmm. if that means sending you down the street, well, then we send you down the street to whomever would, would help you the most. That's a fiduciary standard, as opposed to a non-fiduciary. Uh, there's plenty of non-fiduciaries around, and their job is, could be to represent their company and promote product or something mm -hmm. like that. And there's nothing terribly wrong with that, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but uh, a, fid a fiduciary certainly is something that a person should probably um, uh, want, uh, especially when you're talking about your life savings. Right? Yes. Right. Uh, the second question, Daryl, mm -hmm. is what? Uh, what is the se oh, how, how do we yeah, get how paid? do you make money? Uh, <laughs> how do you get hey, paid? Daryl. Well, first of all, I appreciate your concern <laughs> uh, over my well-being. But uh, the, yeah, a person should, uh, uh, is going to be paid, uh, whether it's from commissions, uh, potentially, or fees. Mm -hmm. uh, my shop is a fee-based shop, so we have a set fee for regular money management. We'll have a set fee for what we're doing mm -hmm. uh, for you. Uh, and so that generally is um, uh, the most beneficial because then everyone, and it's according to assets under management because everyone is interested in seeing those assets grow, right? But the question is, what are the fees that yes. you're paying? And so commonly, we'll see people come in, they have no idea that they're paying three and a half or four and a half, even over 5% per year <laughs> to have their money managed. Uh -huh. And then we turn around and reduce that by, uh, well, a lot. I mean, uh, so you always want to know uh, how much you're paying and then what you're getting out of the deal, mm -hmm. right? If there's nothing wrong with paying fees. No, no, nobody nobody uh, is going to work for free, right? But those fees should be reasonable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it so happens that in a, a small, more of a boutique specialty shop like ours, we don't have a string of management all the way back to St. Louis or New York mm -hmm. City or something. Everybody's got to get paid, right? Uh, it's a smaller shop. So we like the, uh, in my opinion, which is why we established our business the way we did, uh, we want a smaller shop, not so much management, right? So there's yeah. not so many irons in the fire or mm -hmm. so many mm -hmm. uh, people with uh, uh, that need to get paid. And we can keep those expenses ridiculously low, mm -hmm. uh, gen generally about 40% of uh, less than wow. e even even the most common shop out yeah, there, which wow. the people whose names you'd recognize. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so, but how, how do you get paid? That's, you should yeah. know that, and almost nobody accurately answers mm -hmm. how much they're paying in fees. Almost nobody. Yeah, no, yeah. that makes, makes a lot of sense. Okay, yeah. this last mm -hmm. question here. There's a third one. Uh, what yep. is your specialty? People want to know. You know, what do you do? What's your specialty? Yeah, uh, you're going to want to ask that uh, advisor um, that you're uh, considering. What exactly do you do on a daily basis? What does your day look like? Who are you seeing? And are they like me? Mm -hmm. And that's a common question that we get uh, seeing brand new clients all week long is, are, do we fit? Mm -hmm. You know, or have you been down this road before and how many times? Uh, great question. So whether you're talking about um, uh, working with a 35 or a 45 year old who's interested in perhaps college education funding, finishing that off or those types of things, uh, maximizing, you know, Roth and, you know, toggling between Roth and, and traditional contributions and all that sort of thing, and longer term planning, that's one area of specialty. Mm -hmm. Estate planning or, or, or transition, you know, type planning, that would be a, an area of specialty. 
specialty, certainly. Yeah. Uh, retirement planning at point of retirement is what we do. So if we're about five years out or after retirement, that is such a critical time. You're, you're in the red zone. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't mess this thing up now. Mm -hmm. So commonly, it's very common in my office for me to say, you know what, yes, your number one question is, have we done enough? Yes, yes. you have, mm -hmm. as long as you don't mess it up now. Mm -hmm. okay, you're, everything's great, so we don't need to be swinging for the fence, okay? Let's just set, set things up so we have a nice income stream coming mm -hmm. up. Let's show you what that's gonna look like. But area of specialty, the same, Mike, as you would seek a, if you've got a problem with your knee, mm -hmm. well, you're not gonna go see a heart guy, right? Right. right, right? Or vice versa. So see somebody who's specific to your stage of life. You would so hate be, to, yeah, save your whole entire life, and then you mm -hmm. get five years off from retirement, and not make some smart decision with that money. Indeed. If you like to work with Daryl and his team for your retirement planning needs, the advantage, you can really take advantage of this. The first 15 people who call right now will receive a complimentary consultation mm -hmm. free of charge. The number to call is 402 932 2141. Daryl, what should they expect from a consultation like this? Well, we're going to answer some questions. The first thing I'm going to ask you is what do you want to accomplish today? Make sure we deliver on that. But moreover, uh, the, the overriding theme when people come in and they're five years out or two years out or six months out uh -huh. uh, or just on the other side of retirement mm -hmm. is how are we doing? Have we done enough? And what can we do to be absolutely certain that we're never going to run out of money down the road, right? Mm -hmm. And so commonly what we'll see are people who are not working with a specialist. I'll look at their statements and they kind of look like a 40-year-old. And I look up across the conference table and, well, they're not a 40-year-old or a 35-year-old. Mm -hmm. They should have an investment posture like this mm -hmm. where they could just have everything swept away if we're having another market downturn. Mm -hmm. So risk analysis, fee analysis, set up an income plan. It should be pretty productive. <laughs> All right, <laughs> well, good. That terrible. makes it easy. Again, the number to call, 402-932-2141. Uh, the fifth, first 15 qualified callers are going to have the opportunity to really sit down with Daryl and his team free of charge to get your finances in order for retirement. Mm -hmm. You can also go to the website right there, uh, dbryantretirementstrategies.com. It is simple to you because you do it every single day. That's why you say it, right, with that kind of Well, well I've said it before you know a time I mean? or two. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Kind of like what you guys do. You're so professional. Aww. What are you going to do? Oh, thank you. Oh, that is true. That is true. Repetition. We have our days. <laughs> thank, thank you, Daryl. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, from Wildlife Encounters, Kip Smith.